Hi, Dr. Patrick Gentempo here, and thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. We have great content in store for you. I'm so excited to be here with you, and let's jump right into it. But most teachers are just robots. They're parrots. They memorize and they give it. They're good people. My whole family is teachers. I love them dearly. I go home to Hawaii and my, years ago, my aunts would say, oh, they call me Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Have you found a job yet? <laughs> and I have to go, no, I don't have a job. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry, too bad. Bad luck. I said, yeah, bad luck. <laughs> wow. It's, it's just a mindset, that's it's all it is. And it's a reality. So now people are leaning in and saying, oh my goodness, I see what he's saying. Um, what should my next moves be? I, I, I have some, you know, excess capital, you know, beyond what my means to live with are, and maybe I'm per currently spending money on, on stupid things I don't need. What could my first step be toward trying to create some semblance of financial freedom for myself? Well, as I said, education is more important than before, but you're gonna choose your education. Mm -hmm. And what educational? So well, it's you know, I, I you know I would I wouldn't go back to school personally. Right, right. And you know people say do what you love. I say invest in what you love. Mm -hmm. So there's four basic asset classes you can invest in. Number one is a business, mm -hmm. McDonald's. Okay. Number two is real estate. Mm -hmm. Number three are paper, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, and savings. Mm -hmm. Number four, commodities. Mm -hmm. I don't touch paper at all. I don't have stocks, bonds, mutual mm -hmm. funds, or savings. Mm -hmm because I can't control them. I can control my businesses, mm -hmm. I control my real estate, and I control my gold and oil. Mm -hmm. That's what I do, I'm a control freak. But most people don't have the skill set or the training to control their assets. So when, I, when people ask me what should I do, I said, well, what do you love? Oh, I, I love real estate. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a real estate course. Oh, it takes money. I go, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> I say, I also have no spiritual intelligence. And I was just about to say, so, and that's where, you know, the, the sense, if you can say out loud, that takes money, I don't have money. It's spiritual. almost like a, like a negative affirmation. Yeah. That spiritually now, you're, 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 you're poor, not broke, but poor as a mindset. You're spiritually poor. Yeah. Somebody took your heart and soul out of you, your willpower. Yeah, because the, the entrepreneur, so I say, if I lost it all today, I wake up tomorrow morning with my mind make it back. and my energy, and I can make it back. Right. And people, you know, I'm a Marine. I did horrible, I did horrible things in Vietnam as a pilot. And yet I wear this here. And this was a gift from His Holiness the Dalai Lama. You know, so I'm not Buddhist or Christian. I just believe there's a spirit beyond all of this. Mm -hmm. And the same thing happened for me in Vietnam. Marine Corps is a very spiritual organization. You know, we gave our lives so others could live. I'm alive today because dead men kept fighting. We had to do horrible things, I mean, wrong. Yeah. But it's very spiritual. Most people don't have the spirit. They're, they're emotional, their emotions are so over, what if I fail, what if I don't have money? You know, like, then your spirit's been ripped out of you. Yeah. That's the sad part, you know? The, the doubt almost is like a poison right, to their soul. I mean, it's, it's like yeah. you know, this doubt of that, you know, what if this, these fears. Um, as Don't compared... make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you're stupid. You gotta have money. Look, the reason, the reason I love real estate is I don't use my money. I use my bank's money. Mm. It's called debt. All I have to show the banker is how I'm gonna make money with the bank's money. That's all I have to do. And I, uh, what I say, there's good debt and bad debt. Most people have bad debt. Bad debt is debt you pay for, like mm -hmm. credit card debt, your mortgage, car payments. Good debt is somebody else pays for you. Thanks so much for being here and watching that video. And can I ask you to please subscribe to our channel so you can find out when we're posting new content. You'll be alerted right away when we do to share this with people you think might benefit from the information. And certainly it helps us if you like the video. So if you like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that like button. And again, thank you so much for being here with me right now.